Today, we're looking at Private Reserve's Burgundy Mist. Hi, I'm Adam, and I'm an ink guy. I get inks, test them, and share the results with you. Now, Private, or Private Reserve's Burgundy Mist is a really nice red magenta color. To make sure I have a range of experience with this inks, I do my writing samples. I then put it into a different ink for a day. Yep, I had to check my pen. I then put it into a Levenger True Writer with a broad nib to take my notes for this video. Now before we get to the writing samples, let's look at the sciency bits. And up first is a chromatography, and I agree with Vita that doing multiple chromatographies has taught me a lot. Looking at the one on the left, we see this kind of neat gray line on the bottom, gray, greenish kind of line. This chromatography was done the way it's supposed to be done, and it's really interesting because we get this purpley area, then kind of white, then it gets to red with a very dark red at the top. Makes it very interesting to look at. Now the one on the right I let dry for 10 minutes before I dunk it into the water. We see a thick dark green line. It's got this little bit of blue at the very bottom. The blue that doesn't appear up top but did in the original. It pushes up with some pink into red with that dark magenta at the top. Resistance tests are done to see how this ink can be expected to hold up on paper, and more important, how hard it might be to clean out of your pen. I let the smear dry for three days before testing it. Looking at the highlighter, we see that it handles it very well. There's a little bit of uh, blooming, I'll call it, at the G to H. Otherwise, it tends to actually do pretty well. I would still avoid this because of how it's sort of working with some of the letters that I'm afraid it would spread a little too much. Looking at the water, it completely reactivates and pulls off most of this ink, but we see this dark, dark area left behind, which makes me feel like it might take a little more to get this one out of your pen. Now when we look at the pen flush, it's almost turning white. That's only 30 seconds of pen flush there, and it's going to completely go away given some time, so pen flush might be the answer here. Bleach completely obliterates it. For the inks I've tested, I've found an average viscosity of 2.5, with the realm of normal being from 2.1 to 2.9, and Private Reserve's Burgundy Mist has a viscosity of 2.2. Two, five, making it an absolutely normal flowing ink. Great. To find my average dry times, I use my writing samples of the extra fine and the medium nib done on Clairefontaine, Tomoe River, and Rhodia paper. I average those. For the inks I've tested, I have found an average dry time of 17 seconds, with the realm of normal being from 13 to 21 seconds. Private Reserve's Burgundy Mist has an average dry time of 10 seconds, making it quite fast drying. It's definitely a fast drying ink. Outstanding. If that's what matters for you with a walk around uh, pen and notebook, this is a good one to use. Now let's look at the writing sample. I got this ink in sample form, and to keep my writing samples consistent, I use a Jinhao 159 with a Goulet 1.1 stub. I use a Jinhao X450 with a Goulet medium. And a Jinhao X750 with a Goulet extra fine. Let's look at Clairefontaine. We get no bleeding and no ghosting. With a 1.1, we have no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen. Definite shading the whole way through with this 1.1. On the extra fine, we have no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, and shade. All over. All over. Six seconds to dry. Medium. Medium gives us no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, and shading. Nice shading the whole way through, 11 seconds to dry. The scrubby shows us in the extra fine and the medium that we can expect a fair amount of shading. I don't think it's showing as nice. There we go. We get decent shading in the scrubby and in the writing. The smear test, we could recover this. Tomoe River. Tomoe River paper. No bleeding. We have ghosting. It's Tomoe. With a 1.1, we have no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, but shading. Shading all over. So it has a fair amount of shading, even on this paper. The extra fine gives us no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, and shade. The whole way. 
When it can shade on Tomoe River, you know this ink can shade. This is fantastic for it. Nine seconds to dry, which is incredibly fast on this paper. The medium gives us no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, and we've lost the shade here. It went down heavy enough that we lost the shade. It took 16 seconds to dry. The scrubby shows us that the extra fine is going to have some shading and that the medium is not. The smear, you don't get to recover this if you smear it. So looking at rhodia paper, we have no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 has no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen. It is showing shade, not as much as the Clairefontaine, but it is showing shade. The extra fine gives us no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, and shade all over the place. Tons of, it gets a little dark, it gets a little lighter. Nice. It's like it's highlighting itself with dark spots. Six seconds to dry. The medium, definitely a darker tone of color. No feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen. And because it went down so dark or so heavy, no shade. Ten seconds to dry. The extra fine scrubby shows us we definitely get shading. The medium scrubby doesn't really show us much shading. Now the smear, the smear shows we can recover this. I find if I put this on with a very broad, very wet nib, it becomes really a deep, 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 strong burgundy. It's a very nice color. And on a dry pen, I get very nice shading. So I decided to test this with the yellow rhodia. Look at what the tone changes happen. So we get no bleeding, no ghosting. And look at the, let's look at the tone difference from the white to the yellow. And with the 1.1, it looks basically the same. It didn't get affected. So that's pretty interesting that it doesn't get affected. It's a strong color. Just means it's a very opaque ink. The 1.1 has no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen. Some of the shading went away as a result of the yellow paper. The extra fine has no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, and still shows its shade. Still shows the color variations. How overs one tone, the changes from lighter to much darker. Dog has much darker parts. Quick has much darker parts. So very nice. Six seconds to dry. Medium, same as before. It's a darker tone. No feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen because it's a wetter pen and it goes down heavier. No shade. We lost it. And 10 seconds to dry. Now the scrubbies show that, that the extra fine is still going to maintain its shading. The medium doesn't show shading in the scrubby, doesn't show shading in the writing. The smear says we could recover this. So I looked at Leuchtturm paper. This gave me no bleeding, no ghosting. The 1.1 gave no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, and no color variation. No shading. Extra fine. No feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, no shading in the writing. But it's definitely a lighter tone than we got with the 1.1. Five seconds to dry. A much, 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 much darker tone. This is what I'm getting when I'm writing on a Rhodia with a broad nib. So it's a very, very dark tone. Very rich. Very nice. Medium. Gives us no feather, no spread, no halo, no sheen, no shading, but a beautiful, dark, rich burgundy. Eight seconds to dry. The scrubby confirms that we're going to get some shading in the writing of the extra fine and no shading in the writing of the medium. And the smear, I don't know that you can recover this as a smear on this paper. That's all I have for the writing sample. Instead of finding inks that look like Private Reserve's Burgundy Mist, I would prefer to find a color that would complement its color on the page. I've chosen Robert Oster's Aqua because it's a very interesting turquoise. Before I give my opinion on this ink, I would ask, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And if it's your first time here, I would invite you to subscribe. So what do I think of Private Reserve's Burgundy Mist? It's a deep, dark, rich, red that definitely can give quite a bit of shading with a lot of different nibs 
on a lot of different papers. It's an interesting, absolutely interesting dark red. Very nice. Thanks for watching.